we felt like that it was that it was more important for this coalition to focus on federal issues than it is state or local issues. Now, re remember now, I, the word I used was focus on those. Even though we we in in uh, Asheville Buncombe 912 are not going to necessarily focus on federal issues. We're going to focus on some things that 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 we do there. However, as part of this coalition, we believe that our focus should be on federal issues because if we fail in the federal area, <laughs> there won't be any state to fail in or there won't be any county to fail in. It'll be fundamentally changed. You let me tell you something right now. The road to freedom is not going to be easy even where we are. But if we have to start from being slaves, you, you're looking at a road that's going to be difficult. So we've got to start today doing whatever it is that we're going to do. Now, basically, that's our concept. We need to have some order to the meetings that we do. We need to get ourselves a, a, a committee, a, a steering committee that will work together and form and flesh out the skeleton and and come back to us in a month and say this is where we're going this is what we're doing and this is how we think we can get there what we're doing has been done before we don't have to reinvent the wheel all we've got to do is look at what's been done before and pick the things as a group that have been successful and have had the loudest voice. In November, we're going to reelect congressmen and, and some senators, and mostly congressmen. But however, and and given the opportunity to reelect those people, we're going to put a bunch of conservatives in office. We are going to do that. See? And that's why we should have been working this summer to get the that's real right. conservatives with the that's nomination. Right. For November. I mean, However, I hear you. and see, once, once we get to the place that they don't have control of the Senate and the House of Representatives and the executive branch, we can stop what they're doing. We can cut it off. Not, not during the lame duck session. Yes. It'll be 2012. But we can't, we can't. And that's when we got to be, be prepared to really. No, I mean, they between yeah. November and January. Yeah, they have no, nothing to do with it. It'll be very interesting. That's right. Interest. Now, now if, if we were successful at getting enough representatives and enough senators in, we could then, by a two thirds majority, undo the stuff that they've done. A two thirds. Right? Well, we don't either. So. Well, you know what this sounds like to me? It sounds like the Republican Party get out the vote is our goal. No, no. No, no, no. I mean, this is okay. what we're talking about, though. No, no, it's not. It's not no, no. Republican. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm just saying this is what it sounds like. But, okay, let, let me let me reiterate. Well, it's, it's, so, more, it's, it's more like stop socialism and, uh, yeah. and the progressive party. Yeah. Okay. okay. But let me re let me oust, November is the goal. Yeah. Let me reiterate again. Okay. November is not the goal. How, uh, however, some of you in here need to be working on these candidates that are going to be reelected in November. I don't know what we as a coalition are going to do, but what what we've got to do is speak loud enough that they will hear us and stop what they're doing even now. See, that's where the problem is. We we are not speaking loud enough today. Now now we need to work towards having people elected in November, we need to constantly keep that in mind, and, and we need to move that direction. But, but I, again, I say, I don't know that they're ever going to allow us to get to November. That's what bothers me. We, we, but, and so the sense of urgency is that now we've got to speak loud enough that, that those that can hear us there, well, well let me give you this. No, I better not give you that. But, yes, sir, go ahead. Are you saying you don't think we're going to have elections? Do you know it's possible for us to not do that? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't know. I'm not willing to take the chance that we get to November and don't have one. That's what I'm saying. I think we're in the midst of it. <clears throat> so, right. so let me ask this question. How do, you, how do you overthrow this government today? Do you, do you know how to do that? 
How many ways? Like no, no, one easy way. What do you do? <laughs> you go to jail. <laughs> if, you, if you declare a state of emergency and martial law is declared, you suspend the Constitution. 